Well, welcome everyone. My name is Nick. Please let me introduce myself. So, my name's Nick. My hometown is Plymouth. I'm from England and I love the EU. But <laughs> I live in Tokyo now, so I left the EU. <laughs> my favorite place in Tokyo is Kiyosumi Gardens. Anybody know? Yes. Yeah, very beautiful. I don't have a garden. This is my garden. <laughs> so please introduce yourself. So my name is, my hometown is, my favorite place in Tokyo is or are, one place, two places. My hobby is or are, okay? And my favorite place is uh, the new national uh, Shinkoku de Kyogijo. Oh, so. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And my hobby is, um, my hobby is uh, Korantie. Okay, so today's special rule, please speak English as much as you can, okay? If you have a question, you can ask your partner, you can ask me, but please try to speak English as much as possible, okay? That's our challenge today. So let's get started with another quick question. In fact, let me put three, two quick questions. Okay, so first question, how would you respond to foreign tourists who are in trouble, okay? You see a foreign tourist on the streets, they have a problem, what do you say, okay? Question two, how do you show a foreign tourist that you understand what they said? Okay, so question number one. So I'm a foreign tourist, I'm lost, I'm injured, I have some problem. What can you say? First thing, what can you say? Are you okay? Perfect, thank you. Okay, or? May I help you? May I help you is okay. Oh, if I can write. May I help you is okay, but usually we use this in a shop or restaurant. More common, okay? More, maybe more natural, do you need do you need some help, okay? So may I help you means the customer came into the shop. Okay, in this shop, can I help you? But do you need some help? Are you lost? Are you injured? Is there some problem, okay? So all of these situations, okay. So if they are lost, injured, any problem, oh, do you need some help? Is everything okay? Are you okay? Question two. How do you show that you understand foreign tourists? So they're speaking lots of information. How can you show you understand? Any idea? I see, I see. yeah, perfect. I see. Any other ideas? Perfect, very nice, okay. Perfect, you can repeat back. So for example, oh, I want to go to Shinjuku. Oh, you want to go to Shinjuku? Okay. Easy way you can confirm, ah, I understood. No problem, okay. One more. Perfect, very nice. I understand. Yeah, very simple. Okay, so please take your textbook. And please look at page 50. So at the top of the page, we have the first listening, okay? And in this case, we have four situations. You will hear four conversations. Please choose which picture fits the conversation. Unit seven, listening. First listening. Listen, what is the problem? Write the numbers in the boxes. One. Excuse me, do you need help? Yes, thank you. How do you buy a ticket from this thing? Yeah, it's kind of confusing. Let me show you. Two. Oh no! Where's my mobile phone? I can't find it. Excuse me, did you lose your mobile phone? Three. Oh man, I lost my passport. Excuse me, do you know the number for the American Embassy? So, you want to call the Embassy, right? No problem. 
Four. Excuse me. I hurt my ankle. Can you help me? Let's go to the hospital. Don't worry, they speak English there. Conversation number one, which picture? One, two, three, four. Yeah, number four. Yes, number four. What happened? So, she wanted to buy a ticket. Thank you very much. So, yeah, number four. Okay, conversation two, which picture? Number two. <laughs> Thank you. What happened? Lost the mobile phone. Thank you. Oh, good confidence. Nice. Lost their mobile phone. Conversation three. Number three, lost their passport. Perfect, very nice. And conversation four must be? Number one, what happened? She hurt her ankle, perfect, <laughs> very nice. Okay, so please listen again, same conversations. This time, please check the sentences you hear. Second listening, listen again. Check the sentences you hear. One. Excuse me. Do you need help? Yes, thank you. How do you buy a ticket from this thing? Yeah, it's kind of confusing. Let me show you. Two. Oh no, where's my mobile phone? I can't find it. Excuse me, did you lose your mobile phone? Three. Oh man, I lost my passport. Excuse me. Do you know the number for the American Embassy? So, you want to call the Embassy, right? No problem. Four. Excuse me, I hurt my ankle. Can you help me? Let's go to the hospital. Don't worry, they speak English there. So, let's go through them. Number one, everybody all the same time. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of confusing. I mean, okay. How about number two? Top, okay. Number three? Bottom, okay. And number four? Bottom, okay, perfect, very nice. Okay, well let's come on to the next page. Let's look at conversation one. Okay, in this conversation, a tourist is helping a volunteer in Tokyo, okay? First, please listen carefully and read along. Conversations. Listen, then practice the conversations. Conversation one. I'm so lost. Excuse me, how do I get to the Metro Marunouchi line from here? The Metro Marunouchi line? Yeah, it's kind of complicated. Let me take you there. Thanks. Everyone understands? Okay, so where does the tourist want to go? Yeah, the Metro Marinochi line, okay, nice. Okay, and how does the volunteer help? What does the volunteer do? Yeah, takes the tourist to the Marinochi line, very nice. So please remember, in English, we have to remember the wave. English is a stress accent language, okay? So if we have a word like I'm so lost, if we keep the Japanese rhythm, I'm so lost, sounds very flat in English, okay? Instead, in English, we have to go up, okay? So the key word is here, okay? So please repeat after me. I'm so lost. Oh, much better, very nice, okay? So one more time, dramatic effect. I'm so lost. I'm so lost. Good, very nice, okay. Now we have a long sentence, please repeat after me. Excuse me, how do I get to the Metro Marinochi line from here? Excuse me, how do I get to the Metro Marinochi line from here? Okay, not bad. <laughs> Everybody starts this sentence, lots of confidence. Excuse me, how do I get here? Okay, so this stress for long sentences is very, very important. So in this sentence, what is the most important information? What is the key information? Yeah, so we have Metro Marinochi line. Okay, please remember, if we have two important words next to each other, 
we cannot go up, up, okay? Otherwise, how do I get to the Metro Marochi line? <laughs> so difficult, right? So instead we go up, down, up, okay? Metro Marinochi line, okay? Metro Marinochi line, everybody please repeat. Metro Marinochi line. One more time. <laughs> nice, good. Okay, what other key information is here? From here, okay. This is not the most important, because if I said, how do I get to the Metro Marinochi line? I think from here, right? But it's a question, so we just curl up. From here, from here, okay. Any other key information? Get, yeah, very nice. Anything else? How, very nice, yeah. So usually questions and verbs, doshi, we usually stress, okay? And one more? Okay, simple rule. If we have a comma, we must stress one or two words before, okay? Especially if it's one word, but in this case we go, excuse me, okay? Just try, very difficult with no stress. Excuse me, how do I get to? Very tough, okay? So this comma equals a break. So we must stress before the comma and after the comma, okay? So now please repeat after me. Please include the wave up and down. So first one, excuse me, how do I get to the Metro Marinochi line from here? Now one more rule. If we have the stressed rule, we speak slowly. If we have the non-stress rule, not all the way here, but we speak quickly, okay? So we have, we have it like, how do I get, okay? So if anyone plays musical instrument, this is only half tempo, right? So the, now we want to go, how do I get? How do I get? Nice, very natural. Okay, so one more time. Excuse me. How do I get to the Metro Marinochi line from here? Okay, challenge, let's go. So let's come on to conversation two. Conversation two. Excuse me, did you lose something? Uh-huh, I lost my train pass. Let's ask the station attendant. He can help you with that. So what happened in this situation? Oh, uh, yes, she lost her train pass. Nice, good job. Okay, what advice did the volunteer give? Perfect, yeah, ask the station attendant to help. Very nice, good. And this is good advice for you. If the tourist has some problem and you don't have an answer, please take them to the station attendant and please ask for them, okay? It will be a good help. Okay, all right, so let's now go through the conversation and please check the stress. So please repeat after me. First one, excuse me, did you lose something? Excuse me, did you lose something? Nice, okay, good. What are the stressed words? So we already have one on the board. Excuse me, okay. Lose something. Remember, we cannot say, did you lose something? So I have to go, lose something. So, one more time. Excuse me, did you lose something? Excuse me, did you lose something? Very nice, good. Okay, next one, please repeat. Uh-huh, I lost my train pass. Mm, okay, stressed words? Lost? Train pass. Nice, we have lost and train pass. And also don't forget, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay? All right, very nice. Okay, next one, please repeat. Let's ask the station attendant. Okay, stress. Yeah, so we talked before, short words, so we have let's ask, one stress. Let's ask, one stress. Okay, and? Station attendant, okay? And then last sentence, he can help you with that. Yeah. Oh, very nice, sounded good. Okay, stress, help, 
that. Very nice, yeah. We usually don't stress can. So he can help you with that, okay? He can help you with that, okay? One more time, please repeat. He can help you with that. He can help you with that. Very nice, good. Okay, so I have a new challenge for you. Please turn to page 52 and 53. So let's look at practice section one, top half of two pages. So tourist side is the left page, okay? Volunteer side is the right page. So for example, the tourist has first picture. How do I buy a ticket? The volunteer can check the answers. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. Let me help you. Okay, everybody understand? So we have four conversations. Please practice each conversation two times. So now we have our final challenge, okay? So let's practice with no text, okay? Only your ideas. So first we need some problems and some recommendations, some advice. So for example, what kind of problem do you think a foreign tourist might have? Any volunteer, any idea? Oh, perfect, very nice. Okay, so stomach ache. So if someone has a stomach ache, what advice would you give them? Go to the hospital, okay. Okay, maybe it's not so serious. Mm, okay, please be careful with this word, drugstore. So every country has a different word. So I recommend, let's go to the pharmacy. Everybody please stand up. No textbook. Well, let's take a break. You worked very hard, you deserve five minutes break.